I had something I wanted to say. I wanted to talk about how, how devalued the ordinary is and how devalued home is and the work of home and how it just doesn't get shown. So I had a kind of a real burning need to make this work. Um, and that's why I did, I did the Masters, was because I had a purpose for it. For anybody producing a piece of work, including recent graduates, one of the key problems is how do you find an audience for the work? And how do you make sure that uh, people that you want to pitch to, whether it's curators, uh, picture editors, publishers, actually get to see the work? Um, and long after the week of the degree show, uh, Graduate Photography Online is a way to let those types of people uh, see your work. Um, this year we have uh, curators and directors from uh, Photo Gallery, Open Eye Gallery, Media Space in London, and they'll be going through all the work and picking out some of the, the pieces that they find uh, most interesting, and that'll act as a way in for other people coming to the website. Media Space is a collaboration between the Science Museum London and the National Media Museum and at the heart of the programme is the National Media Museum's National Photography Collection and the collection that we have represents a huge range of photography from fine art photography, experimental scientific photography, photojournalism, so young practitioners in whichever field of photography they're thinking that they might like to end up in will probably find there's something for them at Media Space. Yeah, this is really great. I mean, Graduate Photography Online is really fantastic for someone like me who's working here in London, but, um, you know, wants to see a lot broader range of student shows than just the London shows. And, you know, obviously shows are happening up and down the country in a very small space of time. Um, they're not on for very long. So I know that I'm not going to get to all the graduate shows across the United Kingdom. And this looks like it's going to be offering me a really fantastic range of different practitioners' work um, that simply I just wouldn't have seen otherwise. It's also really nice to hear a bit about some of the artists and photographers um, from the summaries about them, but also from the selectors' comments. It's access to other curators and other, you know, people who've got um, ideas that I'd also like to be, you know, exposed to. It's great. The actual process uh, in terms of signing up for this is very easy. Uh, you each each year group will appoint a, a lead student, and the lead student then will liaise with source and provide us with the images for all the students um, uh, and this is this is delivered to us through an uploading mechanism on the website and it's really it's a it's a very straightforward process it's yeah i mean it's all it's all just come from little things really um you know just where one thing has led to something else so this the show in barcelona was from um being in a, a a festival in 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 Catalonia and just a chance meeting with with the the gallerist and you know so all these things are just just come out of like really connecting with people and you know networking is a horrible word but you know when you when you kind of build up friendships with people um, and you know make connections the conversation is important. We, you know, curators speak to each other, we speak to other gallerists, we speak to galleries in more independent spaces. You know, we share knowledge and we share ideas about people who we think are involved in interesting work. And so it's always good to be seen by anyone. I'd encourage young people to show their work to curators, to apply for competitions, to submit to graduate photography online. You, you need to be seen for people to be seeing and talking about you. And that's how opportunities happen.